On this particular body, we're still in the early stages of dissection, but I wanted to show you the relationship between the muscle, the skin, and the subcutaneous layer. Now, just so you know where you're looking at, this is the left shoulder, or this is the left deltoid muscle. But again, your muscle is below these three other layers. You have your epidermis and dermis with this thin layer that you're seeing right there. But then the subcutaneous layer, which is also known as the hypodermis, is made of adipose tissue. And so when you're at the gym trying to work out and make those muscles bulge through, yes, you can get those muscles quite large working them out and doing resistance training. But if that subcutaneous layer is so thick on top, it will make it harder to see those wonderful striations or the definition of those muscles. And in this particular body, that adipose tissue is over an inch thick. Now, this layer can be sometimes just millimeters thick in somebody who's very lean, or again, over an inch thick. And I've even seen it thicker than this in some cases. But losing adipose tissue, easier said than done, but if somebody works hard enough to lose that adipose tissue, it will make it easier to see those rippling muscles, particularly this deltoid underneath 